Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mad God Machinations. I am, of course, the Mad God. Today we're playing a new bit of Hearts of Iron 4. Woo! Because all the overs have gone so fantastically well so far. So, as always, we start in 1936. We go to the other nations because fuck the big guys. Except Italy. They've been our bros as of late. <laughs> um, Japan, you let me down. You seriously let me down, dudes. Uh, but... Where are we going to go next, ladies and gentlemen? Where are we going to go? People said, said do all these kind of mods and that kind of stuff. Not yet. Not, we're not getting into mod territory yet. There's still places in the world that I have yet to go. I've been to Ireland a lot, so that kind of takes care of uh, Western Europe, definitely, for sure. Uh, and we've been to Tibet, which we admittedly should have gone communist. Uh, <laughs> if I'd gone communist, I wouldn't have had as much manpower, but I might not have had to fight the British Raj. Uh, but the dark side failed, um, as always. Uh, we fucked up Nepal and Bhutan, though, so that was fun. Japan let us down. Japan. Ah, oh, di oh, disappointing. Disappointing. So, uh, I could go to Africa. Uh, but Africa's kind of, at this point, there's very little um, to use. <laughs> so, like, other than, like, like, Liberia and maybe South Africa. Uh, Ethiopia, which we all know what happens there. There's not really many options in Africa, so we'll probably leave Africa alone. We could go to um, the great land of South America, which it falls under the American domain, of course. Uh, I've got to set my timer, because I'm a smart cookie. There we go. That's going now. Um, so we could go there, I suppose. That's always an option. Uh, just make sure, actually... Yes, the phone will now be quiet, apart from the alarm. Uh, could go there. Play maybe Brazil, that's a lot of land. Maybe Argentina. Uh, go fuck up with the Falklands. <laughs> Once again, finding a way to fuck over the British. It's sort of something I do. Um, what's this button? Oh, oh, that's cool. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay. <laughs> um, could go to Canada. We do. We did enjoy our time in Canada. We're trying to conquer it. But... No, or Mexico. <gasps> we could play Mexico. And we could build our own wall against Guatemala and make them pay for it. And then this be weird. And then the Canadians will build a wall and make the US pay for it. Yeah, and it'll be this whole thing in which everybody makes the, their sovereign neighbor pay for their wall. I'm guessing down here will be their eastern neighbor. So Guatemala might make um, El Salvador and Honduras pay for their wall. Um, I didn't know the British had territory here. Huh, we just have fucking territory everywhere. Uh, Nicaragua will have to pay for the war for Honduras, and then uh, Costa Rica will have to pay for the war for Nicaragua, and then war wall. Panama will have to pay for Costa Rica's war, and it'll just the United States owns that canal there, of course. Uh, Colombia, they'll have to pay for the Panamian wall, and then I'm not really sure who pays for whose wall in here. This one it gets a bit confusing. Um, maybe we'll do like a, a co-op kind of thing, and everyone will pay for the walls here with Colombia. This one gets a bit mental, but <laughs> we'll probably not go. Maybe go Mexico at a later date. I'm, I'm liking the idea of Mexico, but today I think we're going to go to the Middle East because you know this land that's divided by all those uh, religious tensions and yeah. So why not put the Irish in charge? <laughs> What's the worst going to happen? Now, do I want to go for Iraq? Where the obvious is, I could switch over to fascist quite easy and set up a brand new dark side dark side part two and team up with italy because then i would be able to fuck up the allies hmm hmm and maybe turkey and maybe iran there's a lot of places like the fuck up around here uh, and if i go fascist i could like fight these people and since they're unaligned maybe then i could get away with it so there's a lot more options plus iraq actually has a port which immediately makes it much better than Tibet, who couldn't trade for shit. <laughs> Iran could be an option, but I don't know. I don't. I'm not, not really sure how I feel about Iran. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for Iraq. So we're gonna to go to Iraq. Um, we're gonna be the central little nation surrounded by everybody, and we're gonna see what happens. Um, knowing my luck, shit, it will go down, <laughs> and I will die. Well, well, a small painful death, a slow painful death. A small death, in which case, fuck that, like. Um, let's see what we got. So, Fra fuck off, France. Um, construction wise, we have very few factories. We have one military factory and two civilian factories, I believe. Yes, there we go. 
Um, which puts us in a bit of a shit. What kind of, do we have anything special? No, we are working on the same thing that we always work on. So it'll be industrial effort first up. May as well just get that started while I'm here. Cool. Um, I do have some troops. Is that a tank? No, it's a mountaineering. Uh, so I have a mountaineering division and I have a... Uh, just regular infantry. Okay, that's, that's not too bad, uh, I suppose. Divisions. So I start off... So I actually start off with research this time. Hang on. So weapons one and mountaineering one. Oh, that's nice. Do I get anything else, I wonder? No, no, no. Oh, I do. Oh, I start off with fighters. Oh, this is the most technologically advanced I've ever been. No boats. No boats. Uh, that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, land doctor? No. Artillery? I start off with artillery. Oh. Seriously, this is the most advanced I've ever been. <laughs> uh, so, we're going to go into here first. And we're going to start off with this. Because that's our faster research. Uh, we'll go into industrial. And we will get... Probably... Construction level one, because that's kind of a thing that we need. Uh, in terms of actual constructions, we are going to need. How much space do we have? Oh, we actually have space to build shit. Oh, this is the this is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> it's just like, oh, thanks, sweet Jesus. Ah, oh, probably not actually who I should be thanking in, in this area of the world, but that's who I'm going to thank anyway. So let's build u de toi. That's only two. I wanted three, and then I'll get couple more from that and then I'll build one military factory here actually you know what yeah we'll build that there should is that what I want to do because I will get more no hang on uh, oh fuck's sake un de toi I'll only build three for the moment. How long is it going to take me? December 1940. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about this one. Insufficient resources already. Oh. What kind of resources am I rocking? Oil. Literally, that is that is it. Huh. Okay. I'm going to need some convoys. Do I have no boats? Are you... Hmm... Ah, really? So I gotta cancel that there. So I can build this here. How big are these? How are these? Right, I have to build this first then, I guess. No, because I need... Uh, no, I need this first. No, yeah. Uh, this is all the sad face right now. <laughs> Immediately, just so much sad face. What else do I need to build? Let this let's plan ahead. Let's plan ahead. This is planning stage. So construction-wise, infrastructure is shite. Um, and that's something, as we learn, apparently affects trade, apparently. I did not know that. Infrastructure affects trade. Uh, increases supply power in the street, increases your division speed. So it makes things go faster. Apparently, the reason I couldn't trade with Japan when I was in Tibet was because they occupied China. Which meant they technically didn't have a land border with me. And their infrastructure was shocking. So that's apparently a thing. I think it was maybe the occupation. I'm not sure which is true. Uh, who are my neighbours again? So. Ideally, I want to build land forts everywhere. Uh, I thought about this last time when I was playing as Tibet. Unfortunately, we didn't really get a chance to do the plan. Because I was too slow. And I blame myself because there's no one else to blame. I'm not going to blame you, ladies and gentlemen. It's not your fault, I'm shit. <laughs> and build that there. So, that's that. In terms of air bases, we only have... Hmm. These are also fairly small. I would like to get an airbase set up everywhere I could possibly can. I would also like to get all my guns built, because guns built, that's a thing. Um, I have a naval base, so I don't need another naval base. Is infrastructure as important? No, I don't think so. So we'll drop that down a bit. 
Uh, forts will be good. I don't think, however, they are as less important, or I don't know how I'm wording this properly, but that's the thing. The ones with no infrastructure, I kind of need to do because they are going to tank me the worst because my troops will have a worse time there. So that's that's a smart thing. I'm thinking ahead. I'm trying to think ahead now, ladies and gentlemen, because last time we got all fucked up. I have no materials right now to ship in. And I do not... I have convoys, so I can't... I do not have the factories, however, that I need. So I will not do this straight away. I will wait. I will get my speed up bumping. There we go. So we'll wait till we get... Um, this will come in quite handy, because we're going to want to get synthetic... Uh, refineries. We actually do have resources for a change in the form of oil, which is nice. Actually, uh, 22 oil here and 10 oil. So we're, we're, we're an oil producing nation and we can make more with our refinery. So finally, that entire refinery thing is now actually a part of our makeup. Now, who are we going to fuck up? That's the question. Uh, we could go into the Holy Land. Always fun. That's Canal, the Suez Canal, the Suez. I've got to pronounce that. There. A lot of. Jesus, 126 oil? Fuck me, Russia. Uh, I suppose that's like Armenia or Georgia or somewhere there. Where is that? Baku. Uh, so that's Azerbaijan. I know that because uh, I watched Formula 1. <laughs> so I'm seeing nothing else but purely oil in this region, which is bad. Because I need to, the fuck? All the chromium in the world exists here. Where is all the steel? Out, out here. So i got to go... Oh, fuck's sake, really? Africa doesn't have anything, because it's Africa. If they had anything, well, they'd probably be a massive superpower. Um, I would also like to very much take Kuwait from them. Iraq going into Kuwait, that's a thing. <laughs> that happens a lot. Uh, my troops. Um, you fellas mind actually... Right, one of you go there. Uh, one of you... My engineering division. Oh, no, my TV's going to turn off. Boo! Boo, you sir. Uh, you guys, who do I not like? Nobody at the moment, so just go in garrison mode. And garrison down here, and train. You fellas. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. Garrison up here. No, I want you to garrison. Hell. And train. Become the best you can be. Give me some military tradition. Uh, keep that unpaused. They're losing a few men. They're not actually... They're not actually in great shape. I don't know what the fuck's happened over there, but they're all dead. <laughs> Was I recently in a war and just nobody mentioned it? The Brits are here. This worries me. Uh, so yeah, there are a lot of Brits down here. So I may not want to piss off the Allies straight away. I may go long and like sort of plan and wait to see how things go. Because obviously historical... I've turned off historical AI. We will see what happens. Uh, if it, I may not make my own fa uh, faction next time, I might join the Axis if I go that way, or I'll join Comintern if I go Communist, or the Allies if I go Democratic, or I might just stay neutral and fuck up people. Um, right now I'm neutral. I'll focus on my economy before I start changing this. Um, it's not changing, but we do have fascists, so we can quickly switch over, if needs be. Um, just seeing, so you know, are they just one? No, they're three zones. Iran is Iran is kind of the place I'd like to go uh, because it's bigger than me. And I'd like to eat it. But it'll really depend on how like, the world sort of shapes up. Hmm. I know there's no divisions based training. Um, what do my divisions look like, I wonder? Do they have artillery? They do not have artillery attached, despite the fact we can build support artillery. It's always fun. I just do not... <laughs> I'm making so few guns because I do not have the resources to do this. Um nor the factories, nor the ability to produce anything. Sad faces all around, ladies and gentlemen. Sad faces all around. So, first up, we'll work on our industrial. We have one city. Baghdad. I, that's kind of shit for us, but oh well. Uh, are these mountains? Desert. Plain. Why are you out here, then? You should be, like, here. In the mountains. I don't know why I have this guy. Um, do I have mountains somewhere else? Plains. I have one thing in mountains. I guess I'll have to protect against the Kurds over in Kurdistan. Because um, they're kind of badasses from what I hear. Um, and they might... Hmm, I might want to take Kurdistan from 
from the Iranians and go, ha ha ha, it belongs to me now. You dicks. Because I'm nice like that. <laughs> and I just, my form of diplomacy is just going to the table or ha ha, you're dicks and running away. It's an interesting strategy, I, I grant you that. But I feel that it works. I have two of these factories now. Where did I get two factories from? From trade. Is someone buying my things? Is that is that a thing? Remilitarizing it. Ah, oh, boo. Oh, yay. So, is somebody buying shit off me? Surplus. Oil. All my sweet, sweet oil. Traded goods. So, yeah, I'm not giving any... Is it... Do I have something else on? Civilian economy, export focus. Oh. Apparently, I just don't have to do that. Works for me, it gives me a factory, which means my stuff will be built quicker. October, that's not too bad. Uh, once I can do that, I can actually build shit convoys so I can trade and send my troops out into the world and conquer shit and maybe get some steel. Oh, Ethiopia's getting all fucked up. Oh, Ethiopia's all fucked up. <laughs> Bloody Europeans coming into like lands they shouldn't be. Grr, grr them. We're looking at you too, Turkey. We're on to you. You're touching them. Urgh, you bastards. <laughs> I'm sorry to any Turkish viewers out there who may be watching right now. I, I swear I'm nice. Yeah, that's, that's a bit weird. I have four civilian factories in use. Where did I get four civilian factories from all of a sudden? Herpet? I'm... Where? What? Four civilian factories in use. From trade. How does this... Okay, so that's actually how it does. I get more factories if I trade, and as a massive oil producer, I can now trade shit. So because my economy is export-focused, I can send 16... Ah, that finally now begins after all this. People say, why don't you read a guide? That's no fun. Um, I'd rather learn on the job. So because, for anyone who, who hasn't played the game yet and curious, the more I trade, somebody is actually buying my goods right now. And because they are buying my goods, I get more factories. And because I get more factories, yeah, it all makes sense now. Spanish Civil War, oh no, oh no. I got research though, so I'm, I'm happy. Um, do, 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 do. Right, let's get this. Um, I want that. <laughs> is that it? More oil? Yes, please. So it is now benefiting of me to like be able to ship stuff off because I get more factories, and more factories means I can build quicker. I can build quicker. I can do stuff, and I'll be great. Hmm. I need more oil. <laughs> I'm in the Middle East, and I need more oil, of course. So does that mean I can now trade? No, because I don't want to do that just yet. Until I get a few more, and then I can start trading some stuff to get what I need. Then I can focus on my guns and shit. Okay, plan is in place, ladies and gentlemen. Plan is in place. We are going to become an economic superpower as Iraq. And then we're going to fuck people's shit up. When they're least expected. Saudi Arabia is going to be my bitch. Or maybe Oman. I don't know. Does Oman have anything worth my time? Uh, two oil? Wow, Oman, your shit. They have three oil? The... the what? But they're Saudi Arabia. They should have tons of oil. It's Saudi Arabia. There's no oil here. Yemen has a bit. But, ah. Oh. United Kingdom took a bit, so... Okay. I'm a bit confused. But there. Ooh, 42. Ooh. Kurdistan. I've never heard of Kurdistan until now, but now I suddenly want it. Mmm, look at all that oil. All that sweet black gold. Oh, it's delicious. I could swim in it if it wouldn't kill me. Also want some of that chromium. But that's all the way over there. Which is kind of a bitch. That is... Oh, Baku. Oh, sweet, sweet Baku. You minx you with your 126 oil. <laughs> I'm going to get all the factories just based off oil alone. It'll be fun times. It'll be fun times. Trust me. So I need more oil. Right, hang on. Uh, export focused free trade. 80%. Ooh. I want that. Consumer goo. Oh, there's tons of stuff I need to do. <laughs> there's so many buttons I want to press. So free trade would probably be 
a pretty good one to go first because they have more factories. Yeah. It's... You see, you probably think, well, Chris, how did you not... Oh, Mad God, because that's how you know me. I'm not my... <laughs> how did you not know this? Because I've never had that many resources before, ever. Like, I've, I've played as Ireland, which has shit all working for it. And the minimum is usually eight. Or I'm trading so few resources, it's not worth anyone's time. Now I'm suddenly an oil superpower. Oh, I'm the time of... I wonder... I wish I could see who I was sending stuff to. That would be really cool. You know, I want to know... Oh, I am. There we go. Uh, so, Yugoslavia and Turkey. Hmm. So, those are who are my current trade partners. So, so I want Yugoslavia and Turkey to stick around because they are currently giving me factories. Awesome. This makes me a happy panda. <laughs> I really need that steel, but I need the factories to support it. Uh, but we're getting that on the way. Yeah. That will actually finally build something in Al Yaharja, because that's a bit of a shithole right now in terms of what I have. Uh, I'm sorry, Al. Al. I'm gonna have such a hard time saying your names, Al Hajara. Hajara. I'm trying to think about that, not say it just as I see it. I do that in Wales, like in Wales where I live up here. I'll just look up here because I'm not doing anything else. There's a place out here called. Um, it's spelled the Nelly, but it's like pronounced Clamethley or. There's a there's a lot of phlegm involved, and I'm not used to speaking that language <laughs> of Welsh, so it just baffles me half the time. Uh, let's get on construction effort number two. Oh no! And with that interesting dive into Welsh phonetics. It's time to end this part, but thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I, of course, be, be mad, go, be mad, go, my missions, playing Hearts of Iron 4. I shall see you all next time. Bye bye.